Well, that new anthem, Fire is Ours, a tribute to Bernie Sanders, and it's going viral. The music video has racked up over 17,000 views in just a few days and getting bigger. The activist and entertainer behind the music is Hawaiian native Makana. He joins us now from Los Angeles. Makana, good morning. When did you catch fire for Bernie Sanders and why? I did uh, late last year. I had just returned from tour. I was really focused on my music and I started to see what was going on and his messaging. And it really resonated with the messaging that I'd been singing about for a long time. Something that was representing not the corporations and the big banks, but the people and really standing up for the diminishing working class. What compelled you to spend $11,000 of your very own money to do this? Uh, you know, you've got a nice life in Hawaii. What would make you want to get into to the, the dirt of politics? Well, actually, you know, more than just an endorsement of Bernie, it's a commentary um, that was fueled and inspired by my, my, really my disgust with mainstream news and how they tend to fuel division and distract from the issues that I feel are important. So as an artist, I don't really consider it getting involved in politics so much as creating art that's relevant. What about Hillary Clinton? I mean, if you're a Democrat, you have a nominee. And why not create a, a music video to, and to honor her? That's a great question, and that's my point. That's one of the reasons why I made the video is questions like that. Is That's an, a question that takes away from the messaging of what we should be focusing on rather than dividing between people. Let's be talking about what are the important issues. Yeah, well, specifically um, from Bernie Sanders, what is it about him that, that appeals to you? You're a young guy. He's appealing to millennials. Aside from free college specifically, what about Bernie Sanders do you like and is catching on with millennials as well? Well, first of all, his funding. His funding comes from individuals and unionized workers. It doesn't come from super PACs. It's not coming from Wall Street banks. That's huge for me. His integrity, the fact that, as, as the song says, his words align with his deeds, that means a lot to people. And that's something that you don't see anymore, the fact that he's taking on the establishment. He wants to take on Wall Street and the big banks. People are concerned about the economy and the wealth being expatriated and taken out of our economy, but it's already happened. You know, there's already been this huge redistribution of wealth. And so it's kind of late to worry about that. It's time to start bringing it back and rebuilding the middle class, focusing on infrastructure here, doing things to rebuild America in a healthy way and not just allow Wall Street to suck all of the wealth out of the country. These are the issues that are important to me because I want to have a future. And not just you, a lot of other young people. It's so interesting. Your average politician, I think, until Bernie assumed if you want to appeal to young people, A, you have to be young yourself. B, you have to quote Kanye and talk about hip, cool things. Here's Bernie Sanders basically giving an economics lesson, making no effort at all to be hip. He's 74, and young people like him. Have we misread what young people like? I think, you know, if you look at him more as a meme, M-E-M-E, -M -E, you know, like something that represents what a lot of young people have been talking about since the Occupy movement, then it's not so difficult to understand. Young people are smarter than it may seem, and it's not so much as, like the song says, personality, color, gender, race. Those issues are big distractions. Age is a big distraction. What we're talking about is integrity and values mm -hmm. of a people's movement, and Bernie represents that. McConnell, we'll show our viewers once again the video, and as we go, how long did it take you to make this? It actually was made by my friend Zach and I, and it took the two of us three weeks um, just working in a little motel room and then filming in Utah. We actually found a piano on Craigslist and drove it out to a campsite and set it on fire. A lot of people have said, oh, was that CGI? No, that's me pouring gasoline on a piano, lighting a match, running around and singing. Fantastic. The Bernie campaign, an assault on identity politics. So interesting. Thanks for joining us this morning. Bye, Makana. Thanks for having me. Aloha.